So viewers, please subscribe <laughs> to this channel and press the notification bell. <laughs> press the notification bell as well so you can receive notifications when we upload any video. Thank you. Madam, you have 20 minutes to discuss whatever you want to discuss with her. Oh, thank you, Karam. Well, you know that uh, after you finish, you roger me something. I got you. Thank you. Who are you? I am Miss Clary Jones. I've been appointed by the Department of Justice to be your attorney for this case. I was in my right senses when I said I don't need a lawyer. I did nothing wrong. You need to understand that lawyers are needed for the prosecution and defense of your case. To prove your innocence, you need an attorney. So, will you please have your seat? Good. So, let's get started. here that you stabbed your stepfather severely on the 18th day of last month and you were arrested few hours after that on account of murder. I did not murder him. That's what it says here Linda. You murdered him in cold blood after he finished taking his dinner on the day of the incident. <laughs> I only did what I should have done 10 years ago which I didn't have the courage to do. It also states here that you pleaded not guilty of the crime, despite all the evidences that were summed up against you, including the discovery of the murder weapon. In case you're not aware, the judge will sentence you to life imprisonment, or worse, death, if you continue to plead not guilty without a definite proof that can vindicate you according to the law. So tell me, why did you think you were right to kill him? He deserved it. It still does not give you the right to kill him. Neither was it his right to ruin my future. Ruin your future? Yes. Tell me more about it, Linda. Where do you want me to start from? Let's start from the beginning. Right from where it all started. I was a... Uh... Young, bubbly, nice little girl before my parents started having issues in their marriage. Then one day, my father decided to leave us. And my mother was too ashamed to be called a single mom, so 
she ended up with a man that ruined my life. He was supposed to take the place of my father. He <laughs> made me believe that he loves me. <laughs> you can't blame me for enjoying the affections of your father, would you? No, I cannot. <laughs> On my 13th birthday, he bought me a very expensive gift. I thought I was lucky. Little did I know that was the beginning of the various gifts meant to shut me up. A few days after that, he would sneak into my room. He would lie down beside me. He would cuddle me. Touch me in ways nobody has ever done. I wasn't comfortable with it, but I didn't know what to do. Then one day he he he, he forced himself on me. He violated me, took away my pride, took away my innocence. After it was done, he got on his knees and started apologizing. It will never happen again. He's sorry. He wants it to be a secret between us. I should not tell anyone. I didn't know who to tell. I summoned up courage. I told my mom. The foolish coward who couldn't stand up to her, to her husband because of the stigma that is around being a single mom. She kept on lying to me, telling me she would do something about it, she would talk to him, things would get better. But nothing was done. Nothing was done. <laughs> the abuse went on for years. I have got it for him several times. I'm not even sure I can even have children anymore. But I'm not even concerned about that. A year ago, I realized he started molesting my sister. Okay, I could take my life being ruined, but I was never going to allow that happen to my sister. Never. It had to end. So, on that fateful day, I started several years. I had to make sure I didn't survive the incident. So, I stopped him well. So tell me how he did not deserve that. Whatever he did to you does not justify your crime because you did it out of revenge, not self-defense. Yes, the man was guilty, but that still didn't give you the right to kill him. Do you know that apart from the multiple stab wounds in the autopsy report, other findings reveal that your stepfather had only one more month to live. How do you know this? He had prostate cancer. He would have died last month and you may have been responsible for his death. I just wanted it gone. Whether you like it or not, you are guilty of the charges brought before you. But as a defense attorney, I need to make sure that you are not condemned of it. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have taken that long to Hmm. Now that you're genuinely remorseful, I need to introduce you to someone, a man. He's an advocate. You mean a lawyer just like yourself? No, he's not just an ordinary lawyer. So who is he? Well, this is an advocate that the judge listens to with rapt attention. It's as good as the prosecutor comes to waste his time because the judge always rules in favor of him. I was once in the part that you are right now. That is when I met him.
He made me sign a deal, which I think you need right now. You need someone to convince the judge to tamper with Mercy. Um, are you going to tell me what the deal is about? Um, of course I am. This is a written agreement between you and the advocate that once he drops the charges, you will live the rest of your life serving him. Serving him like a slave? Do I look like a slave? No, you don't. Oh wait, are you currently in the service? Of course I am. Wow. No? You must be a rich man. Only a rich man can make something like this good. Anyways, one, you need to sign here. that the judge rules in his favor? Hmm? That's because the judge is his father. Are you kidding me? I wish I was. Anyways, once you sign this, it's as good as you accepting that you really committed the crime. Not only that, you will be adopted by the judge. Hmm. <laughs> that is why I'm looking all so fly. I'm sure the, the judge doesn't know the kind of things I'm capable of doing. Who wants to adopt somebody who has messy and broken and I don't even have a future anymore. My future is ruined. I, 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 I have no hope anymore. Who, who wants to adopt this kind of a broken Messy soul. We've all committed one crime at one point or the other. The judge knows and rules over the affairs of all men. He just needs us to confess and promise never to do them again. I'm really so sorry for killing my stepfather. Just sign this and I'll take it out from here. So, when do I meet to? When, when do I get to meet this man who oh, wants to save my life? He's over there. Where? He's just waiting for you to call him in. Really? He's coming. Come in. Come in, sir. 